likability. In his training trick of the mind, psychological illusionist Darren Brown bemoans the existence of books like How to Make Friends and Influence People. His belief is that it is incredibly simple to do both. Just be a genuinely nice and likable person. Do nice things for people and they will like you. There is no magic formula to this. Of course, there is some merit to learning what makes a person tick, but in many ways, Darren is right. And having met him briefly in person as a fan, I can also happily report that he really does practice what he preaches. He's a very nice man indeed. And this is something that we have overthought and lost along the way. I mentioned in the section on picking people up in bars that you would be more successful if you make yourself appear fun and likable by chatting to people's friends. This just makes you seem fun. It makes you seem less interested in just one thing. And it makes you appear considerate. And believe it or not, people like this. There is a misapprehension that nice guys finish last. That being too nice will make you unattractive. This, in fact, is not true at all. The problem is that most nice guys are also doting and actually coming from the wrong place. Let's consider for a moment the stereotypically hot girlfriend's best friend. He is in love with her, so he treats her right. He buys her flowers. He calls her beautiful, and he's her shoulder to cry on. Meanwhile, she continues to date jerks who screw her around. So, does being nice really have any merit? The key to recognize is that it isn't being nice that's the problem. The problem is that these guys aren't really being nice at all. They're acting like the nice guy because they want something. By calling her beautiful, they communicate that she doesn't need to do anything to impress them because she's already done it. And more to the point, she can see through the fact that they aren't really nice guys necessarily at all. They're just trying to get something. The jerks are after the exact same thing. They just have the decency of being honest about it. So the problem isn't that the best friends are nice. It's that they lack confidence and charisma. Most women don't want to be treated mean. They want to be treated well. But they also want a guy who is confident, who is cool, and who is successful. Now imagine someone who is all those things and nice. The same goes for women trying to attract men. Men find confident women sexy. And especially if those women show them positive attention and are genuinely nice as well. The same goes in your career too. There's evidence that psychopaths do particularly well in business because they're willing to tread on people to get to the top. But you know what? There are also plenty of highly successful people who are very nice, decent individuals. And in fact, this is a big advantage for them because at the end of the day, if someone is going to hire someone or if they are going to work with them in business, well then, they have to spend time around them. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.